Hello, Carrots here. Welcome to my very quick little tutorial on adding a basement with a spiral staircase. The sim I'm using today as my tester sim is Jerry, Jerry Gibson. He is going to be a part of my generation one of the McFluff story and that's oh. the first time oh, I've ever seen a sim actually drop their phone. I've had lots of broken phones but I've never seen a sim actually drop the phone. In there. So it is broken and he needs to fix it. I can't imagine the first time I ever saw it happen in a game and I'm actually recording the video of it so that's why you're seeing it too. Now we're going to put a spiral staircase. The world that I'm using is Dark Harbour which is made by Reflong 7. Now I'm going to put a spiral staircase in a basement. The lot's quite flat. A spiral staircase takes up four squares. I'm using the terrain levelling tool to level four squares. Now this will work on a sloped lot just as well as a flat lot. You still level those four squares off so that you make absolutely certain that you've got a flat bit of ground where it is completely flat and level across the entire four squares. Then you make your basement which is going to have only four squares in it at this time. And This is only because I'm demonstrating it but if you were to make your basement bigger you must always start drawing your basement from them somewhere within that four squares. Don't start drawing it somewhere else or you'll end up with a basement with different levels. It'll cause you problems and routing issues later on. Now I'm just going to place the spiral staircase in a random position within that four square area. Now the thing I'm going to do next is I'm going to make an eight-sided building up above on the ground level. Now that's as close as you can get to a round building in The Sims 3. To do that you need to flat a total 7 by 7 square area. But here I'm just drawing in the basement. It'd be better if I didn't have the staircase in the way. I'd be able to actually go into the centre of that flattened 4 square area to draw the basement in because you can't draw a basement over an object. I'm just making a random sized basement. There's no particular rhyme or reason for the size and shape of the basement. It'll end up rectangular, close to the front boundary, and it won't take up all of the lot. He doesn't have a lot of money. Just note that whenever I start, I always start from inside an area that I've already drawn from. I don't ever start on the a piece of the on the lot in an area that hasn't already got a basement drawn into it. This maintains the height of the basement. I've discovered that if you start drawing a basement at different levels and in different places, you'll end up with a basement that has got different levels all across it and your sim gets routing errors. So the house is built. This is all that's going to be above the ground level. Because those four straight walls are all three squares, they I'm going to put a single width single tile width door as his front door. I'll decorate the rest of it later. Just put a few windows in. And this is the downstairs part. Now I've just randomly placed that staircase. I like, I've, I've got it against a wall inside that house that's up on the top level. I'm going to rotate it slightly because I don't quite like the way it is facing at the moment. I want it to face more towards the front door but also make sure that there's plenty of room there that the sim isn't going to get an error when he tries to walk up and down the staircase. I think that's a better position for it. So now it just goes straight to the staircase from the front door. Now I'm going to build another basement down one and I want to put another spiral staircase in and I want it to be immediately below the one I've already got. So I make a copy of it. Now we twisted it around so it's going to default to its original position and when you put it over the top of the other existing staircase it won't work but if you twist it a bit 
so that they match exactly and then just page down and let it drop where it wants to go, you will find that it wants to go directly under the staircase above. You just got to be careful not to move it around or you'll end up at having it on a different square. But the trick is to just rotate it so that they're both facing exactly the same direction. Hover over the existing staircase so that they match up exactly. Even though it's all red, it's good. It matches exactly. Page down and then just let it drop. Being very careful not to move it around at all. You don't, you don't wiggle it at all. If you wiggle it around, it will miss its spot and it'll end up beside the existing staircase above. But that's it. You've placed a staircase. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I had to stop decorating. He ran out of money. He's got 30 simoleons left. So, that's as far as we got. That's the upper level of the basement. The bottom basement's not touched. And this is upstairs. So, bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching and happy simming.